And welcome to your Go Market update for today, Tuesday, the 18th of October. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here for your daily look at what's happening in financial markets now. Start with the news, of course. Overnight, we had a very strong session on Wall Street with 3% gain on the Nasdaq and over 1% on the Dow. With a broad based rally on strong early earnings, of course, we are in the early stages of US earnings season. We were expecting or rather markets were expecting a slightly challenging uh, time with earnings, but the early signs are favourable. Too early to, of course, make any judgments from that. But of course, also, we've got lots of things going on in the UK. Uh, there were some controversial tax cuts announced a little while ago. There seems to be some reversal on that, and that's also helped sentiment as well as the GB pound, of course. U.S. futures are up in Asian trading to follow through on last night's rally, and Asian indices are obviously trading higher following that positive U.S. lead, with the ASX up more than 1.3%. The only sector that is down is energy, and we are expecting a slightly positive start in Europe when the markets open there at this stage. US dollar index dropped to a six day low and consequently gold managed to hold on to that key 1650 level. Oil is mildly weaker, copper is still holding 340 and the VIX dropped but still is above that key 30 level. Bitcoin is also still range bound. So some of these uh, risk on assets aren't exactly setting the light on fire despite that equities rally. That'll be interesting to see what happens over the next couple of days. if we indeed get a continuation of good earnings. On the economic data front, we don't really think that much is going to be looked at outside earnings for the coming 24 hours or so. We did see New Zealand CPI beat expectations and as a result, uh, we have seen the New Zealand dollar move up in early Asian trading. A couple of charts for us to have a look at that caught our eye this morning. We're going to start on the ASX with Zero Limited and you can see this financial software company has managed to hold support just around the $70 mark. Big move up today, although not completely compelling. We'd probably be tempted to maybe get more excited in this if it breaches that 79 60 level, but certainly one to keep an eye on. And for those of you who have a high risk tolerance, uh, perhaps this is one that may suit an accumulation approach with a little position bought here and then more should it break 80. In the medium term, we think this is possibly undervalued and hence why we're putting it up today. We've referenced the Kiwi strength today and you can see there yesterday's strength in the Kiwi saw it push up to this 84.20 key level. If we look at a 30 minute chart, you'll see we shot up after that inflation data came out to continue the rally we saw for most of yesterday. Uh, but we just seem to have paused here uh, between this 84.22 and 84.40 level. But certainly a breach of 84.40 would have us interested in this again. Uh, the next key level, if we look on a four hourly chart, would probably be, be around 85 cents. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.